G'day shaggers, welcome to Lordy's Kitchen. Well, tonight have I got a bloody treat for you, mate. Tonight, we're doing gurnard. Bloody beautiful fish. Now, you blokes know about gurnard, you catch a lot of it, but I'm sure as hell you never fucking cook it. You just bring it home, you shove it on the fucking table, and the missus ends up doing it for you, because by then, you're too shagged from fucking fishing, and you just want to sit on the couch and drink fucking piss. Well, tonight, I'm going to show you how to do gurnard. Tonight, we're going to crumb it, Beautifully crumbed gurnard. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put Dijon mustard on it first, then dip it in the egg, and then in the breadcrumbs. Now the breadcrumbs, I've got a bit of uh, lovely paprika in there, it's a bit of mixed herbs, salt and pepper, gonna mix it all together, and then we're gonna put them on the plate ready to fry. To go with that, we've got the obligatory garlic bread. Lovely mate, wrap it up in a bit of foil, chuck it in the oven, 20 minutes, she's all done. One of the easiest things you'd ever wanna do. Not that you lazy bastards would know about that either. Anyway, on for the salad. For the salad tonight, we're doing a lettuce-less salad. Like, yeah, that means we're not putting any fucking lettuce in it. You know, that shit is 95% water anyway. You might as well pour a cup of fucking water in there and add your shit to with it. Tonight, mango, tomatoes, bit of chopped uh, corned beef there, onions, capsicum, some apple, and some cucumber. It's all gonna go on there, stir it up nicely for the children. Gonna whack some of that ranch dressing in there. Gonna be beautiful. So, beautiful salad, lettuce-less. The, uh, Fantastic garlic bread, mate. No, it's not a fucking cricket bat. And we're gonna do the crumbed gurnard. Now, I will say I did get a couple of calls back after last week's show saying that I swear a lot. My answer to that is, mate, Gordon Ramsay swears a lot too, but the only difference between me and him is that bastard just says the F word all the time. And I personally think I could bring him over and give him a comprehensive lesson on what fucking swearing is. So as far as I'm concerned, that fucking hemorrhoid fucking shagger, mate, I tell you what, could come over and learn a fucking few things off me, I'm telling you now. Anyway, I'll come back in a second, give us a couple of minutes to square this away, and we'll do the lovely crumbing, and we'll go on from there. And you never know, mate, at the end of this, you might have even fucking learned something.